to tonight's original now with in-depth reporting on a topic we've been keeping an eye on, which, because of this Supreme Court decision to overturn Roe, centers on that news, specifically on late-term abortions. A doctor who runs a clinic in Colorado, which offers those types of procedures, says he expects to see a lot more new patients with today's ruling. Our own Issa Gutierrez was recently at that clinic and also talked with a former patient who turned to the practice when she needed to have a late-term abortion herself. This layer here is bulletproof, okay? Nearly half a century ago, Dr. Warren Hearn worked at Colorado's very first abortion clinic. A controversial practice then and now, with the Supreme Court overturning their landmark 1973 decision, Roe versus Wade. All the windows around here are bulletproof. Two years later, he founded this place, the Boulder Abortion Clinic, in 1975. We specialized in taking care of women who have very high risk situations that can't be seen in other clinics. He's one of a handful of doctors in the U.S. who perform late-term abortions. Colorado, one of only a few states that does not restrict them. According to CDC data, abortion at or after 21 weeks represent less than 1% of all abortions in the U.S. In 2019, they say more than 4,800 were performed. Last year, a jump in abortion restrictions enacted in 19 states, with conservative legislators arguing life begins at conception. These days, Dr. Hearn says abortion bans like the ones in Texas and Oklahoma restricting abortion after cardiac activity at six weeks are making his practice exceptionally busy. The number of patients we've seen has basically doubled since a year ago. We can't possibly see all the women who want to come here for help. And that's, I need to expand my service. He says the Supreme Court's decision will push more women to have late-term abortions. That increases the cost 